Well, it's the 8th of July, and Hurricane Elsa, what's left of it, is bearing down on us. And we're expected to get a lot of rain and wind today. So I'm being forced <laughs> uh, to pick a lot of figs off my Desert King that I would ordinarily leave. I've been eating them for a few days and they've been delicious. About, I don't know, a dozen or more a day. 18 or so. But now, with the hurricane bearing down on us, or the remnants of it, I'm thinking that the best thing that I can do is pick everything that's ripe, or partially ripe, and I'll make Pig preserves. There's plenty to do it with, so I just thought I'd get this on video real quick, and then later on I'll continue my video when I'm making the preserves. I think it would be fairly interesting. I love my fig preserves, always have. So I'm going to walk over now. To that tree and start picking some fruit. These are, this is my Celeste tree. They'll be ripening around the first week of August. This is just a little tree, medium sized tree, but it has a lot of fruit, delicious fruit. I'm very fond of Celeste, as you must know from my videos. I'm fond of all my trees. Oh, look at that. The birds. The birds got to these. That's okay. They won't be getting to the rest of them because I'm going to. I've got a lot of figs in here for my preserves. As you can see. I'm going to pick a whole bunch of them. It's going to be a little awkward. But, better take this hat off. Put it in the way here. A lot of delicious figs. When I get into the house, I'll be eating some of them raw before I cook them up <laughs> or fresh. But there are just so many here. All right. Get over here. Work my way around a little bit. A whole bunch over here. just all over the place and it's time to harvest a lot of these to keep both the birds and the extensive rains on the way from destroying my crop so I'm gonna to get to this crop first as I said we're expecting torrential downpours and copious amounts of rain so unfortunately it's not what I really would prefer to do if I had a choice to do it on my own there we go take a look at that wonderful I think I'll remove this one from the possible preserves <laughs> potential preserves mmm mmm god that's good that is so sweet and so delicious mmm 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 so delicious 
Oop, they're falling. I'm hitting them with my head now, knocking them down. Okay, well, I'll pause this here and join you later. Thanks for watching. I just thought I felt a sprinkle or two. Not a good thing. Better act quickly and get moving here. Be back with you in a spell. Well, I got Debbie. <laughs> I got Debbie to help me pick some of these figs. Yeah, the rains are coming in. It's already sprinkling a little bit. And I still have plenty to pick here. And there's nothing worse than rain, heavy rains during a harvest, which we are going to have very, very, very heavy rains. I can't quite get my hands in here with this net. Well, I'll walk this way. Feel the... Anyway, we've been picking we still have quite a few to get to here are some beautiful beautiful desert king figs which I have to admit that I've been eating them almost as fast as I've been picking them mmm <laughs> that's so delicious mmm mmm Mm. Wow. Well, want some, Deb? No, I have to wash mine first. <laughs> she has to wash hers first. <laughs> She's kind of fussy. But I've got a lot more to do here. And I'm going to get to them right now. I just thought I'd clue you in again in this process. And uh, as soon as I get these picked, I may not be able to get to them all, really. But as soon as I do get finished here, uh, the rains are going to come in and the winds and pretty much ruin whatever's left yeah it's it's it is it's it's sun it's bad timing but I, I never remember the remnants of a hurricane coming through this early in july uh before <laughs> just my luck you know, on this harvest but hey i, I can't complain too much because i've been eating probably a dozen and a half a day the last few days maybe more and there's just so many pigs here uh, that I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to eat some more of these fresh and then because uh, they're just so wow they're just so perfect uh, and then of course I'm going to enjoy the preserves for the rest of the summer from my Desert King crop. All right I'll we'll put you on hold for a little bit. Oh, they're just beautiful heavy heavy very hefty and heavy and full of delicious syrupy flesh uh, very 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 high quality figs that I certainly enjoy and since they are so early we've talked about this almost ad nauseum <laughs> but I, I'm trying to show progressively in steps uh, what you can do with a big harvest and how important it is to have an early harvest of these San Pedro figs uh, the main crop figs, no one's main crop figs are coming in. It's it's just not a thing that's possible. Okay, so here by demonstration, demonstratively, you can see with your own eyes, and that's my purpose, you can see the value of a San Pedro fig tree. And <clears throat> soon, uh, Debbie and I will be cooking up the uh, preserves that will last through the summer. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to shut this down for a little bit, Deb, and help you pick the rest of these. Get out of here. All right, here we go. Now begins the work. <laughs> uh, all of these figs have to be washed. I've refrained from devouring as many fresh figs as I could, about a dozen or more. And I, I can feel it too. Uh, maybe I went a little bit too far. Uh, but hey, I couldn't resist the temptation at all. So I guess it's time now to begin cutting, well, to begin washing these. And after they're washed, mm -hmm. 
we'll cut them all up and we'll discard the the ends here just the ends and keep all the good meat and the blemishes on the skin. yeah if you have a little blemish so we'll just cut that off but for the most part they're all ripe they're all uh, ready to be processed into fig preserves which i'm looking forward to there there's so many that there's going to be some leftovers uh, because uh, I'd have to go get more pecked in and it's a, it's a lot of figs here. So I'll, I'll probably, uh, I'm probably going to uh, make some fig bread and yeah, and I'm going to pitch in and help Debbie do it. Probably make some loaves of fig bread when we're finished because we'll have some leftovers. There's still more on the tree, but uh, fortunately many of them were ripe enough plenty ripe enough uh, to eat fresh and to make fig preserves. And with the storm bearing down on us now, and it's getting windy outside, uh, it won't be long, and it will be pouring down rain. So with that, I'll move on to the next phase, and we begin to wash. Uh, let's see here. I'll bet you're going to want some of this, aren't you? She's going to want She's a little bit. <laughs> well, okay. We've here? gotten it all prepared pretty much. And we started doing the preserves. We just, oh, I'm not supposed to start anymore, right? Yeah. After after you take it off the heat? Yeah, it says you can skim any foam off of it. If all right. Well, there's a little bit of foam, so we have to skim that So off. Uh, I don't want to get this camera recipe. too close to the we just stove. Followed the short gel recipe. Yeah, we just basically followed this recipe, the recipe that came in the package. Yeah, it has a... Except for we reduce the amount of sugar, and that's a matter of preference. Uh, we don't care if it doesn't uh, thicken up uh, as much as in the original recipe. We always fool around with the recipe the way we want to. We want to reduce the sugar, and so we did. And we didn't put quite as much as uh, they call for a half a cup of lemon and we only put a quarter okay because I don't like the taste of lemon that much in my figs I'm gonna put a little maple syrup I put a little bit of maple syrup in there I like a little bit of maple syrup in just a personal preference thing all right now we took this off it was it was uh, all the way to a rolling boil and now Debbie's skimming off some of the whatever that is on the top foam, foam. Like foam. she's getting rid of that okay hey, great and we did one package and it was five cups we've got a lot of cups and it yeah. called for seven cups of sugar and we put five because again we're going to seal these containers these jars and put them in the refrigerator and we don't care if they're th real thick or not if they're just a little bit uh, watery that's okay because we would rather have less sugar in it. But most of the time, they, they thicken up anyway. All right, so we're all finished with that. Okay. Now, if you take this, uh, I'm going to see if I can fish out these jars. All right, here we go. I'll do this real quick. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, we're good. All right, it'll dry off real fast. And get a lid. It's ladle. All right, here we go. It's all being sanitized. I love it. Yeah, it's all been sanitized. Uh, and again, these are going in the refrigerator, so it doesn't even matter if they don't seal, but they're going to seal. I'm going to make a little mess because we're ill-prepared. I don't have <laughs> all the things that I normally would have, but that's okay. It'll still seal. What I've forgotten, though, Debbie, is do you have to stir this now again or just do it, just take it out? Uh, of I don't think it matters. Okay. And just we have to lower that that uh, and you don't fill the jar all the way no. you leave a little bit of space to make a vacuum there we go okay i'll get one of these that's gonna be fun i'll get it you got it loot to the rescue uh oh i think you have two yeah, yeah, yeah. i think you have a double there oh really well, that's not good throw the other one back in there Ooh! wow okay. that was hot and throw the other one back. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to need a rag to uh, to twist All that. All right, just hold that steady. Yeah. Not, not too close to the stove. Yeah. <laughs> Might be going <laughs> right into the pot. Melt this phone. 
All right. That's it. How oh. easy was that? That was nothing. Ow, I think it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Okay. All right. And I'm going to tighten it up. Okay. There's the first one down. All done. Okay. And that'll start to cool down, and then it will, the vacuum will pop that lid, mm -hmm. and we'll be set for a while here. Now I'll get another one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> All right. You get the idea. We don't have to do another one. I yeah. will, though. It's fun. I like doing this. Okay. I love fig preserves. It's really easy to do, especially when you get the hang of it. And look, 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 how, look how wonderful. Yeah. You're never going to get anything like that in a store. No, but I put I extra figs uh, too. Yeah. I put extra figs in there. I made it extra rich, you know. Usually it's a little thicker than this, though, yeah. so I hope this is okay. Yeah, that's okay. But they called for water, and we didn't put any water in yeah, it. Yeah, because they were already. Uh, yeah, water yeah, well, went it off. rained five inches rain. like uh, four days ago. Yeah, five they days had plenty ago. of uh, natural water in them. So I didn't put in the water no. that they called for. Okay. And there's the band, and here's the towel. All right, I got assembly line, huh? Yeah. Okay. So we pop, and then we get some more drawer, and that we'll just continue to do that until it's gone. But then, here we go. I got it nice and tight now. There we go. And we beautiful, right. beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it looks nice. Now, here, give a shot here. It's a lot here, and now. What I'm going to do, because we're, we're kind of taking off a of guard, we don't really have everything we really need. We don't have enough jars. But I'm going to get some containers and use some of this. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer mm -hmm. for next time and do it all over again when I, when I run out. And that works out okay. Believe it or not, it does. You might have to cook it down a little longer, and that's okay. But it will work. Look at that. I'm going to turn Isn't that, that down. Beautiful? That's beautiful. God. And little Penny Pop Pop gets a little bit of this too. Not too much. He's waiting patient. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish these jars. And with that, thank you for visiting. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Okay. And we're, the storm has arrived. It's not real bad yet. It's supposed to worsen over the night. And hopefully things will be bright and sunny tomorrow. Thank you very much. Good day.